Hello and welcome back to the Medique Trust plugin. My name is Nathan Wilkerson and today I am going to be discussing a new feature here with the uh, Trust plugin and this uh, Medique Tools toolbar. So just today I added in a new trimming function uh, and, and just to review we have the regular trim tool we have the extend tool which actually is not functional yet and we have now this new trim member two or trim two tool um, <clears throat> and the point of this uh, new tool is so that we can trim more complex geometry and it allows you to basically select two faces rather than one and so it hopefully will help with um, trimming things like uh, sheathing and cladding and hip rafters so we've well, basically got this um, <clears throat> uh, same uh, model that we had for the previous video and what we did not discuss last time or show was uh, what to do with the roof sheathing and cladding so let's go ahead and turn the roof sheathing back on and you can see that um, you know the roof primitives of course created this and you've got pieces extending back here into the main roof and you know of course we don't want that but first of all you know we can trim these pieces back with just the regular tool so let's go ahead and get that done so what I typically do is I'll select this face or that face it doesn't really matter let's select the back side and then <clears throat> then I'll go along here and I will trim that one and grab this one right here and trim this one back okay so now you can see we've got that those two trim back so now we've got the more complicated situation where we've got this piece of sheathing that we would want to get rid of here okay so what we do for that one is I'm going to grab this tool now and first thing I do is select the first face and let's go ahead and grab that face and notice how it highlights it and then I'm going to go ahead and grab this face okay so now you notice both faces are highlighted two separate colors and then all I need to do now and of course down here it's prompting you and now you just click the entity you wish to trim so I'm just going to go ahead and click this entity okay and there you have it um, we've gone ahead and let's get back out of this <coughs> we've gone ahead and trimmed and hit the spacebar jumps you out and so now you can see that um, well what I did is I trimmed it so that it, um, it sits uh, that's hard to see let's turn off the framing here uh, roof framing and roof trusses and cladding roof rafters here we go and I'm probably going to turn off the wall framing too while I'm at it just so I can see better what's going on okay so you can see that I trimmed it so that these actually overlap um, and you know that doesn't have to be the case uh, you could trim it to this surface and to that surface so that there's kind of gap in there but it's whatever you want to do but the point is is um, you can see that this is nicely trimmed out now I'm going to actually jump into this piece and grab that extra piece there that you don't need that and and there you go so the trim tool the trim uh, two tool as I call it or the two face trimming tool allows you to basically trim that triangular piece and if we hide this you can see what you've got so it allowed us to trim that without having to form another solid so it's kind of convenient for that sort of thing um, and then of course the other way you can use this tool is um, let's turn back on that roof uh, framing here and I apologize I'm a little slow turning my layers on and off <coughs> Um, and, and you can do the same thing, of course, with the uh, the cladding. I'm not going to demonstrate that, but it's the same same process again. So let's take a look at this. Um, this uh, let's, let's hide this just to move this out of there for now. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the okay. What I want to demonstrate here was okay. So we've got this hip rafter, right? And I'm going to go ahead and make this unique and then I'm going to um, actually jump into that component and I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to paste in place and then I'm going to actually move just 
just shift it down here a little bit okay and then what I'm going to do is just to demonstrate you can you know you can grab two of these things and let's just join them together okay granted uh, you know that there's some issues with that because now we've got this sort of thing going on but but also I, I, I might add that you know we can trim this too right we can use a, a two uh, a face trim to get that but let's now look at this so now we've got a situation here where we've got this coming down into into this um, uh, corner here and so if we use the this uh, trimming ability let's go ahead and uh, come on turn around you and go there and then just carefully pick this edge and you can see that it allowed us to trim that right exactly how we wanted to trim it. Of course, this when you you know when you use the the regular outer shell, it, it kind of messes up your groups and and such. But because um, <coughs> you can see our colors here, our materials are are not by group now; it's by the face. Um, but you know we can always change that. Anyways, um, yeah, in a nutshell, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's pretty simple. There's not, uh, it's not too complicated. The main thing is, is you, um, you know, you you basically select the air area where you want to trim it back, and it will actually allow you to do, you know, some pretty interesting trim operations. So, for instance, I'm going to trim this uh, concrete back here just just to show you, um, and there you go. So you've got you've got a corner cut out of it and it's right per these planes and it, it even if the planes or faces don't meet it will figure out you know how to make a meet on that on that single line and take care of the rest for you so all right well um, if you have any questions about this or need more information uh, please give me a call or contact me via my email and thank you very much